Castle Rock has been hijacked as coup plotters resurface in person. Move to unseat Tunubu. We did really succeed in unseating Tunubu. We did? Can they? <laughs> hey, well, um, you see, nothing is impossible. So far, is coming from the military because the military people that I know are strategists and professionals when it comes to, you know, plotting coup to take over. But with the look of things and with the way I am viewing things, I don't think because Tunubu himself has bought already the minds of all the coup plotters, the military themselves. He has bought them over. What else is remaining? I greet you, my people listening to me right now um, through this very channel. Thank you for giving me your listening. Yeah, please um, don't forget your comment. Don't forget to click on that red subscribe button so that anytime we upload any new videos, you will be updated. Let's go back to the content. This is today's news. Local media reports there was strong opposition to military intervention at a session of the upper chamber of the parliament. The Senate on Saturday, despite the fact that it is controlled by Mr. Tunubu's party. This was especially the case among lawmakers representing states along the more than 1,500 kilometer, 930 miles long border with Niger, but there has also been countrywide condemnation of the possibility of war. West African region bloc ECOWAS had set a deadline of Sunday for the Juntas to give up power or face possible military action. The decision was very much seen as Mr. Tunubu's, as Mr. Tunubu and the ECOWAS current chairman and Nigerian is at a very serious problem. Although the Juntas has defied the ultimatum ECOWAS did and also respond by immediately sending troops to save the president. This came as a relief to many Nigerians who prefer a diplomatic resolution to the crisis. Some question whether a seven-day deadline was realistic given that Nigeria and other countries have to get parliamentary approval before deploying their military. Many people are also appalled that electricity to Niger was caught on President Tunubu order because blackout in Niger capital is a very serious issue. Critics claim that this is in violation of a treaty that had enabled Nigeria to build a dam on the river Niger. Though Mr. Tunubu's supporters say the power courts are aimed at pressuring the Juntas to hand back power to Ulster President Mohamed Bazoum. In response to this, the President Parliament Tunubu has also experienced something same in Asurok as the Juntas appears in military uniform trying to take over but the president was nowhere to be found. Hmm. Mr. Tunubu. You see, it shows that these people are really working hand in hand. The military. Look at the, the same method and the same way they used in hijacking uh, the Niger Republic. is the same method they want to use for Tunubu. But... They kept failing. They kept failing. And that is how it will always be. You see that? I don't think they can succeed in on, on certain things because Tunubu himself is a strategist. I told you us. And that was the truth. That was the truth. Anyway, um, listeners, um, let's quickly, quickly, quickly hear from you and them. Let's know what 
your take and what your opinion on what has just been revealed right away. Maybe it is a pleasure. Don't forget to leave down below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.